Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fletcher's channel. The last few decades have seen an evolution in aircraft development with different designs and a focus on diverse markets. This includes applying VTOL technology to the civil aviation market, as has happened with Leonardo's AW609, which has been developed particularly for VIP customers and offshore oil and gas operators. From the late 90s, the development of the AW609 was carried out even when Leonardo took the project fully in 2011, which ensured significant advancements in flight control systems, aerodynamics, and certification processes, given that it operates both as a helicopter and a fixed-wing aircraft. When its development and construction were completed, AW609 was prepared for shipment to the Casina Costa site for the final testing stage of the program before civil certification. For this, the aircraft was wrapped in a protective fabric against the elements, which also acts as camouflage and high technology that does not want to be shown to the public before its launch. With these preparations, the AW609 was put on a freighter which was the vehicle for most of the journey to Casina Costa. The various performance tests carried out for the AW609 allow the design capabilities to be demonstrated and verified. Those tests included verifying the structural integrity of its airframe under several load conditions, as well as the system integration of all the electronic devices connected to the aircraft. Then, to complete the certification process, engine dynamic, a rotor performance, as well as flight control testing was endured. During events like the Gisolo Air Show, the company had the opportunity to showcase the aircraft's features, including its tilt rotor technology that let it act as a helicopter and airplane, its cruise speed of 270 knots, and a range of approximately 700 nautical miles, which can be extended with auxiliary fuel tanks. Additional tests were performed to test the full potential of this aircraft, so Leonardo carried out a successful ship trial, making a crucial step in the aircraft's development and testing phases. These trials were part of a broader demonstration to showcase the tilt rotor's capabilities in a maritime environment. executed a series of takeoff and landing procedures from a dock to a ship's deck, showing the aircraft's effective approach, stable deck landing, and precise touchdown capabilities. The fact that 609 performed well in this condition gave us the confirmation that the handling qualities of this aircraft are good and the possibility to operate with the Italian Navy. The creation of aircraft, such as the AW609, would not have been possible without the development of technology in previous models created by other companies. This is the case of the V-22 Osprey, developed by a Bell helicopter and Boeing for the U.S. military years after the start of the VTOL experimental program in the mid-80s. Since then, this aircraft has been used mainly by the U.S. Navy and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force for troop transport, medical evacuation, and cargo delivery.
Its tilt rotor technology allows it to adapt to different missions, such as support during amphibious operations, especially during launch and recovery operations. With its ability to fold its wings and propellers, the V-22 Osprey can be placed in locations such as an aircraft carrier without taking up extra space. The V-22 not only has the vertical takeoff capabilities of a helicopter, but once airborne, its propellers can turn 90 degrees, converting the Osprey to a more fuel-efficient, higher speed, like a turboprop aircraft. This versatility allows it to be a tool of the military forces in multiple scenarios. In addition, the aircraft can reach speeds of over 275 knots, making it significantly faster than conventional helicopters, and has a range of over 1,125 nautical miles, allowing it to travel long distances without refueling. The qualities of the V-22 have demonstrated the potential of aircraft with this type of design, which has encouraged the advancement and development of new aircraft implementing technologies similar to the Osprey. This has led to the emergence of programs such as Future Vertical Lift and the creation of a new tilt rotor aircraft known as the V-280. Special emphasis has been placed on reducing the weight of the V-280 compared to the V-22. So, its wings are made from a single section of carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite. This weight reduction contributes to reaching speeds higher than the Osprey, reaching 300 knots. With the development of this aircraft comes a stage of constant tests and simulations to determine its capabilities and evaluate the results of its manufacturing. Part of these tests focus on evaluating the basic flight features of the aircraft, like stability, controllability, and response to pilot inputs. Other procedures include testing troop deployments to determine their viability in assault missions. These future developments have not only focused on the military industry, but also to be offered to the civil market, applying even more innovative technologies. of electric motors to power VTOL aircraft has led to the appearance of various prototypes and solutions, especially to improve urban mobility and implement a new type of transportation. This is the case of the Lilium Jet prototype developed by the company of the same name in order to create a faster travel system alternative to improve mobility in urban and extra urban areas. This jet is distinguished by its unique propulsion system, which sets it apart from other eVTOLs, primarily powered by propellers. Okay, but that's good, you can kill some pits if you want it. Instead, the Lilium jet employs a proprietary technology known as ducted electric vectored thrust, which utilizes jet propulsion. 95 smoothly. This works thanks to its 36 electrical ducts, each containing fans and electric motors that provide thrust. These are distributed across the aircraft's wings, with 12 fan units that are part of an advanced propulsion system designed to offer high performance with reduced noise and vibration compared to traditional eVTOLs. 
What did this speed? 255, 255. Lilium is currently assembling the first two Lilium jets at its production facility in Wauteng, near Munich, Germany. These aircraft are critical for the company's ongoing certification and testing programs. Such production is in the advanced stages of assembly, with components such as the fuselage, leading gear, wing, canard, and electric harnesses being integrated. This goes according to Lilium's schedule, which expects to perform its first manned flight in early 2025. Joining the certification flight test campaign in 2025 and contributing to the rigorous testing required for regulatory approval. Despite the rearranged timeline for the first flight, Lilium has confirmed that customer deliveries are on track for 2026. This emergence of new air transportation solutions has brought with it numerous designs and technologies. Companies like ARC Aerosystems have focused on exploring different aircraft to provide affordable, accessible, and sustainable civil air transport. This includes the prototype E-Starling Hybrid Electric VTOL aircraft, designed for both personal and commercial use. ARC Aerosystems, formerly known as Samad Aerospace, designed this aircraft for intercity transport using a hybrid propulsion system to have an extended range and flexibility. Multiple tests conducted on the aircraft allow the company to explore its potential, determining whether its semi-combined wing body design and propulsion system meet its long-term goals. The company has ventured into new developments, such as the VTOL heavy lift cargo C600. The C600 represents a significant innovation in the field of air cargo and logistics, with its design focusing on eco-friendly solutions for various applications. Like the E-Starling, the C600 is propelled by a hybrid electric system that extends its range up to 400 miles and allows flight times of more than six hours. The development of such aircraft has advanced significantly, considering it successfully completed a tethered flight test. During this procedure, the aircraft was secured to the ground via cables to ensure safety while evaluating its VTOL capabilities, stability, and control systems under various conditions. After these tests, the development of the aircraft continued until a full transition test was carried out. Here, the focus is to evaluate the aircraft's ability to shift from using its vertical lift propellers, which enable it to take off and hover, to engaging its forward thrust propeller for horizontal flight. The growth of the aeronautical industry, especially that focused on VTOL technology, demonstrates the great potential of these aircraft. After seeing their versatility in the armed forces, they became viable as an urban transportation alternative. With these companies' momentum, it's no surprise that we're on the brink of a transportation revolution.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.